Today we're interviewing Katherine Warnock. She's the head of original content for The Chosen TV series. And so we ended up with the wonderful nine that you saw in the documentary. No, they knew they were binging a series. They just didn't know what series. We just asked them to engage with the show. And we just took our hands off and we trusted the process. Said, okay, if we make this a safe place, if we truly make this a non-judgmental place, and we trust that the show is an amazing tool to introduce people to the authentic Jesus, then it will give permission for people to talk about the good, the bad, the ugly, of how Gen Z perceives Jesus, perceives Christians against the current cultural climate. We're not here to convert them. We're not here to shove a message down their throat. We are truly here to just learn from them and love them and build relationships. Uh, Sexual abuse is part of my background as well. And you know, we're living in a post-secular culture now. It's what we learn from the documentary. Are desperate for connection, are willing to engage and wrestle with truth more than any other generation I've ever seen. We underestimate Gen Z and their desire for truth. I think we've done a really bad job of revealing the authentic Jesus to people. We've been so territorial instead of loving. We, I think we could do better to trust the transformative power of the Holy Spirit. Okay, we have saved our best question for last. All of us women with crushes on Jonathan Rumi want to know, is he really married? <laughs>